Hello, Dr. Megan Bernard here. And today I just wanted to walk you through Flourish the Roadmap to Recovery, what it looks like, because I know it's one thing to kind of read about it, and it's another thing to actually see it with your own eyes. So let me share my screen and we will get, get to it here. All right, so step number one, whenever we get people onboarded into the program, we wanna see their intake form. So we've sent them a very thorough intake form. You can see it's 18 pages long. So you're gonna to wanna to take your time to go through this, but it's very important because we wanna know everything we possibly can about your health, about your body, so that we can properly form a plan based on your particular needs. So we just go through basic things like, where do you live? <laughs> we also go through weight, height, occupation, exercise, what you might currently be doing. And if you're not doing anything, that's totally okay. We can help you with that. We also go through the cancer diagnosis that you were given, um, any particular cell types, any particular markers, genetic um, markers, tar targets, receptor statuses, that kind of thing. Uh, we go through what treatment you had. Are you still going through treatment? Because we do work with some people who are currently undergoing chemo and radiation because they just want to get a head start on things. They feel like they're up to the challenge of making some nutrition lifestyle changes, and they want to make sure that they're coming out the other end after treatment already set up with a good plan. We go through any medications you're already on, any vitamins, minerals, herbs, nutritional supplements you're already taking. We also want to go through any particular food cravings. We go through what you're already eating, any particular diet restrictions you've already got, go on the go, uh, anything that maybe upsets your stomach already that you know of. We go through how often are you eating in, how often are you eating out. We go through digestive health, everything to do with all the bowel habits, because it's very important to know how your body's functioning. We also will go through any medical conditions that you may have been uh, diagnosed with, either that you currently have or have had in the past, or perhaps it might be in your family history if you, if you know your family history. So mom, dad, grandparents, siblings, that's what we want to know about. And we go through all the different, uh, different health conditions we could think of, really. And where are we going? We're going to get finally to any environmental exposures, how is your sleep? Sleep super important. We wanna know, there's so many questions we can ask about sleep and we go through as many as we possibly can. Go through energy, go through um, like hormonal health and then mental health. So we wanna know how the stress is affecting you and uh, how it's affect affecting your life. And then we go through things that you might have already done before. And lastly, we go through why is this important to you? Because we really want to get down, dig in deep to why you're, what's going to motivate you, really. So after we have your intake form, you can also submit any blood work or specialty tests that you've already had done in the past. And then what we will do is we'll take that all into account and we will review it before going, you go into your first visit. You go into your first visit with your success coach. So your success coach is either a holistic nutritionist, a dietitian, a naturopathic doctor, or a holistic nutrition consultant. Um, she is certified in some way and very much, um, she very much knows all the nuances of cancer support because I probably taught her or she's done some extra training on it herself. And what she'll do in your first visit is if, if we have any blood work, I will have reviewed that. I will have already met with your coach ahead of time. And then she will go into the visit, not only knowing all the information from your intake form, but also from your blood work specialty test. If we don't have that specialty test and blood work information before your visit, no big deal. I review it afterwards anyway, and we can adjust your protocol as needed, either right away or within your second visit based off of any blood work or testing information that we get. But this is what it, kind of the protocol will look like whenever you get into your first visit. Um, we will recap any main concerns that you've had, any symptoms that you've had. And I, this is a very important part for us as well as you, because what we do is we then use this information to compare it to your follow-up appointments too. Because we, if we can gauge like your energy is at a four out of 10, and then in your second visit, we ask, where's your energy right now to 10? And you're like, oh, it's like a five or six out of 10. Okay, we might be on the right path. Um, or how many hours are you sleeping? Oh, I'm totally sleeping like seven hours now. I only wake up once. Oh, okay, well, it looks like before you were only sleeping five to six hours and you were waking up three times a night and took you an hour to fall back to sleep. So we can kind of use this initial information to compare it in your second visit and your third visit uh, to make sure that we're on the right track for you and that we, uh, if there's any adjustments that need to be made, that we know when they're, it's the right time to make them. We know what's working, what's not working. We will also go through any nutrition recommendations for you. We, we ask these initial questions just because they may um, determine how we 
set up your, your nutrition. So for instance, if you had impaired kidney function, that would determine how much protein we give you because we don't want to give you too many, too much protein with impaired kidney function. Uh, if you didn't have a gallbladder, then we would have to make sure that we either make sure we don't give you a whole bunch of fat, like healthy fats, or we make sure that you're supported with a digestive enzyme with bile to help you break down those fats. So that's why these questions are kind of important there. We have tons of recipes, but in case you love Google searching for recipes, some key terms that are there, very useful for a lot of people. We will also break down the caloric breakdown and the protein, fat, and carbs based on if you need to gain weight, if you need to lose weight, if we need to fuel a certain process in your body because you're X months out of treatment, we can then use that information to say, okay, it looks like you need 100 grams of protein, you need 111 grams of fat, you need this much grams of carbs. Um, and we can kind of give that to you in percentage and grams, because what we would love to see is if you start to track your food on this app called Better by Practice Better, and it directly takes that information that you track in this app and puts it right into your chart, your online chart here for us to look at. And we will check in on that on a weekly basis and kind of give you some tips and tricks based on what you're already eating, small, simple changes over like a couple of weeks in order to help you to reach these protein, fat, carb goals, in order to help you to get certain healthier options and choices in your weekly nutrition, your meal plans, that kind of stuff. So we will monitor what you're eating on a regular basis if you decide to go ahead and track your food in the Better by Practice Better app. And you can have these goals to hit and we're there to help make sure that you get at least close to those goals. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a video explaining how to use the app. We look at any medications that you may have been on and any deficiencies that might be more probable because of those and any foods that are high in those nutri nutrients to make sure that we're not just using pills to get these back into place, that we're using food for sure in order to make sure that you're being replenished with any medications you're on. And we can also take a look at like, for example, omeprazole is something that some women often want to get off of. So if we can kind of set your plan, your health up in a way that you're feeling good at some point, we can then help you to have a discussion with your prescribing physician to see if you would like to trial coming off certain medications. We can't do that with all medications, but um, we often are at least able to lower the dose for a lot of women, whether it's cholesterol uh, medications, hypertension, like high blood pressure medications or heartburn medications. But we definitely will make sure that you're having that conversation with the prescribing physician because they're a very important part of that conversation. This is also recommended testing, like not everyone gets a whole list of things. This is just a template for you to see. Um, these are typical blood work recommendations that we'll ask people to do. And they can just typically ask their medical doctor or their oncologist, their nurse practitioner, have some of these tested. And then there are also labs that you can approach uh, on your own and have these done too. Um, again, I would often delete a lot of these things that aren't pertinent, but these are things that we keep in here for our own, um, my, to jog our own minds. And this, these are just things that we think about whenever people present with certain health conditions or symptoms of what we would like to kind of see done with regards to objective markers. Um, we have a lot of lessons, which I'll show you in just a moment to go through. And if there's anything in particular that comes up on your intake form or in your conversation with your success coach in your first visit, then we will highlight particular lessons for you to pay attention to because they will help you to overcome whatever is kind of popping up. That's a health, health issue for you. We also are very much into goal setting and understanding why you're doing things and what is the motivation behind it above and beyond cancer prevention, because we really want you to feel in your bones what will change in your life if you no longer have a lot of worry, if you have more energy, if you have less aches and pains, what will change in your life? So we have a lot of discussions around this throughout the course of us working together. Um, one of them being with your goal setting here, like how do you wanna feel differently? What would happen? What would change for you and your family if this weren't a problem for you anymore? So what would you do to celebrate? This is a big fun one that we like to do too. This is a big part of your intake. And then we also will line you up with your next visits with the uh, success coach, as well as get you started with your mindset coach who will go through any roadblocks that might be getting in your way of accomplishing any nutrition and lifestyle changes, of feeling happier in your life, of some of this cancer related worry that might be going through your brain. She's amazing at kind of not digging in too deeply where it's very traumatic, but also in a very, in a very lighthearted way, in a very strong but lighthearted way, she will get to the bottom of some things that might be holding you back from being successful. And then 
this is the meat and potatoes. This is my favorite. This is my baby here. This is my mini, my like my mini medical degree uh, that I want everyone to go through because I truly believe that education is really powerful when it comes to helping people to make long term changes. Because I'm looking at helping people to create habits, not just some quick fix, not just doing something because we advise you to carry it out. This is where you're going to learn the why behind everything that you're doing. I really truly think that if you understand how your body works. Um, what really and truly makes a difference, what actually works with the research um, and what kind of uh, what holistic approaches will help you, then you're going to be more likely to carry out the, the recommendations that we're making. And it's more fun this way when you you're an active participant in your in your in your care plan. So this is the online lessons portal where, for instance, if we start here. We go through lessons and there is usually a little audio recording. Typically they're like 15 minutes max. And then there's there's documents for you to follow too. Cause I know some people like to have that visual, um, the visual document <laughs> and to read through. And this just is like usually a Google doc so that I can update them with any new research or any new information. You just click on that. You can save them all yourself to your own folder, save them somewhere on your desktop if you prefer. And they're there for you to read through for the rest of your life if you prefer to kind of come back to this stuff. But what we do have, for instance, let's go into, let's go into nutrition part, part one. So nutrition part one, there are two audio, so it's a little bit longer. I think this is one of the longer lessons, but this is all about protein, for instance, like we talk about protein a lot. Um, and this is protein for vegetarians and vegans. And even if you're not vegetarian, vegan, it's kind of cool to listen to this because you still get some of these vegetarian, vegan, vegetarian uh, protein sources in the foods that you're eating. So the lesson is about protein, how it impacts your body, how much to get all that kind of jazz. We've already lined you up in your first visit with how much is best for your body, but it just kind of explains it, um, explains the, how we came to that conclusion. Um, we also have lots of like breakfast ideas, common food fears, um, nutrition diary templates, smoothie making, like these are just kind of bonuses. The real kind of important parts of this lesson are the audios and then the action task. With every lesson you're going to listen to, there is a required homework for you to carry out because I don't want you to just listen and then hope for the best. I want you to listen and then carry out and make a change. And typically we recommend that it, you take about two weeks to go through each of these lessons. And that gives you enough time to listen to things, to kind of go back to it if you want to, to take a good read throughout the, the handouts that are available and to really start figuring out how is this going to work in your life? How do you make it a part of your routine? That kind of stuff. So about two weeks per lesson is what works out time-wise whenever we're working together. And there might be some of these where you already don't need to work on them. Maybe you've already got good sleep, so you don't really need to worry about it. Still want you to listen to it. Still want you to do some of the homework, but maybe you don't need the whole two weeks to go through it. But definitely we want people to take their time. The other last important thing I want to point out here is that we do twice monthly group calls uh, where you can hop on there live, you can ask your questions live, if you can't make it you, or you want to submit your question anonymously, you can do so by just hitting this button and filling out a little form there, and then I will answer any questions on the call with you, and whether you make it or not, everything's going to be recorded, and then it's submitted and you can listen to it in, in the future, um, whenever you whenever you have some time to kind of sit down. Usually the lessons are 30, or the, the group calls are 30 to 60 minutes long. And some people will just kind of pop them into their headphones and go for a walk and listen to them as they're out and about. And then what we do is we have the bonuses, lots of bonuses here. Um, so for instance, uh, tips for eating out, how to gain weight beyond just eat more calories and eat more food. Um, we have vegetarian protein and iron sources, neuropathy treatments, post-scan post -scan protocols, um, bone health, all those kind of things are here. Cancer specific info, such as IVC and mistletoe, IV vitamin C and mistletoe information. I do have some supplement recommendations based um, per cancer type, but we do provide you in your last visit with a ongoing protocol. Typically they're cyclical where you go on and off of them to specifically address any potential cancer stem cells, um, tackle any cancer cells in particular, that kind of thing. Any medical conditions or whatever is going on in your body, we will create a plan based uh, on that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the are the meal plans. So lots of meal plans, so many recipes in here. Um, like I have a six week protocol or meal plan if you want to follow it as is, or you can just kind of use some of the recipes and the way it's set laid out as inspiration, plant based, um, high calorie. If you're looking to gain weight, low carb, 
like whether you eat meat or not, we can support you in, with any of this. Some nice quick and easy cleanup. So one pan meal plan, um, something good for the freezer if you don't like to cook a lot, if you like to do some more preparing ahead of time. So lots of options in here. You won't really need to Google anything. We've got so many recipes if you're looking for that kind of thing. But overall, I really do feel like this is a one-stop shop for cancer recovery and prevention. We try to incorporate everything that we could possibly think of that anyone would need whenever they finish cancer treatment and beyond. So I really do hope if you do have any questions that you can always send me an email at admin at floorchaptercancer.com or shoot me a message over on Facebook or Instagram at Megan Bernard ND. And I hope to see you soon.